Hello, my name is Alan Brazel. I am from Batesville, Mississippi originally. I lived up north in uh, Iowa, uh, around Council Bluff, Iowa, right outside Omaha, Nebraska for a few years. And then I moved back to Mississippi and now I reside in Olive Branch, Mississippi, where I am employed by Homer Skeptical for where I am a salesperson. And I've just been loving it and I think I really found my neck here. I've experienced so much, uh, it's a business of learning. And the more you learn, the better off you're gonna be. Um, I love selling cars. I love seeing the excitement on people's faces as they're uh, getting approved for the, the perfect car for, uh, that they want and the perfect car that they desire. And it's just about helping people and just being there for them when they need you and just being honest and transparent with them. And I think it's just a great business to be in. After customers have worked with me, uh, I want them to be able to say that I was courteous and I was kind and I was very informative and I helped them every way that I possibly could and they, they, they enjoyed the experience of purchasing a car from me and you know I want them to take this and, and tell all their friends so uh, we can get others to come and we can also help them too. People should send their friends and family to me because I'm the one that's going to be there for them. I'm the one that's going to go to bat for them to be uh, be their voice uh, between us and the dealership and the ones that's going to find that perfect vehicle for them and also the one that's going to be able to help them to look at some numbers that's going to be able to fit their budget. When I'm not at work, I'm a homebody. I'm at home with my family, watching TVs. I love to watch sports or, or I'm out playing with my dog or uh, just a homebody guy. I like riding four-wheelers. I love my truck. No, no. <laughs> And I'm just a homebody guy, uh, just down to earth and, you know, uh, and also I'm a Christian. And so uh, we go to church, uh, attend church quite often and I'm just a family oriented guy. Uh, my personal goal is to, uh, you know, to allow God to use me in every way he see fit. And in this uh, car industry, I want to be all I can be. And I want God to show me uh, things that I've never uh, seen before and allow me to do things that I've never done before. And, you know, uh, whatever he has for me, that's what I want. And I just want to follow his will in my life. And, and then after that, uh, hopefully I can retire and fish out my day, maybe play a little golf and, and you know, just live out my days upon this earth and maybe uh, pass on with my grandkids around me and, and just have a nice, good life. What makes it worthwhile for me is being able to provide for my family, and then having a great career that I can be proud of. And uh, just being a part of this um, Homer Skeleton family has been great for me. Um, making new friends, uh, meeting new people, different personalities that I come in contact with. I think it helps me be a better person and to you know, know how to uh, go through daily life because the same thing that you go through here at the dealership, most of you see the same things in the daily life. It's, it's kind of a balance in our life. And you know, I think that's what I enjoy about it. Going the extra miles for my customers, maybe as far as you know, some customers don't have the transportation to come and get a car, but I can get them done over the phone. Not only that, I can transport a car. I can take it to them. I've have driven cars out to people's jobs that have purchased and what wasn't able to come pick them up. Um, it's many things you just have to know the customer needs. You want to meet their needs and then go beyond that. Make sure that uh, they're enjoying every step and uh, of the experience that they have in purchasing a car from you. And I think that's going the extra mile. What makes Homeland Skeleton Ford different is our buying experience. We want every customer coming here feeling comfortable, not under pressure where they have to, but we want them uh, to be well informed so they can make a well informed decision and leave here feeling great about the car that they have and then feeling great about the experience that they had. And that's the difference from other car lots, I think, for homeless guests.